nice. Today's was full moon. Um, still, probably in this entire trip, I got, um, I think, it was one or two days of evening rain. Uh, the last stop, which was longer, was on 10 days. I got a bit more during the night. Um, but aside from that, it was blue. <coughs> Uh, this last little leg on the bus was incredible. There was uh, potholes everywhere. The trucks and this bus that I'm on, uh, that is in front of me here, this bus was going at 10 kilometers an hour. He couldn't go any faster. The, the car was shaking. It would have probably broken all the springs and, sh and shocks. And hey, it's interesting is it's a single lane which way and um, he was passing at 10 kilometers an hour and um, traffic would come in it was a 10 kilometers an hour there was absolutely no no issues because everybody was so slow the press went on to come and then the bus would have gone between the trucks and let the other pass by and then he would go back again on the opposite lane to pass the other truck that was even slower than I was going on this bus. Um, incredible. And with this was an interstate, an interstate um, highway, or if you can call it highway, interstate road, which is incredible to be in such a terrible situation. And one, the last highlight is that you know, Brazil runs on trucks and roads, and see roads like this is just amazing. Anyway, right now it's around um, 11 o'clock in the morning, and 11 o'clock at night, and I'm going to arrive in Belo, Belo Horizonte around, um, I think it was around uh, 8 o'clock in the morning. So it's a full night uh, that I'll have now. We just stopped for dinner, um, and then I'm just gonna get a, try to get a night's sleep. Hopefully there's no potholes because even with the potholes, you cannot sleep at all. Anyway, uh, I'm going to post this and I'll maybe post back again in Bella when I get there. Bye for you. Bye for now.